Best and worst from week eight. Uh, Dominique, I'll start with you. What was the best thing you saw week eight? Uh, Randy Gregory. Like, I thought that yeah. he was outstanding yes, in that game. He took over that game in several points. And the only time that, the, that it felt like the Vikings were able to move the ball in the fourth quarter was when Randy Gregory was getting penalties. And some of them were unfair, but that was the only time they could get it moving. He was stopping everything. That defense was outstanding, and it seems like he's the best player on it. Graz, who was your best from week eight? Crazy, it's Mike White. I mean, come on, man. This was the, the week of the backup quarterback. <laughs> yeah, this guy threw for the second most passing yards in a, in a first NFL start in history behind only Cam Newton. This was the first time in five years the Jets won a game where they were trailing by double digits in the fourth quarter. They were playing, as, as Swagoo referenced, the Bengals last week. Everybody had the Bengals in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. This was the performance of the week by a backup quarterback. How about the other side? Swagoo, what was your worst of the week? Well, based on what Dan Graziano just said, it's the damn Cincinnati Bengals. Yes. They had yes. successful weeks. We were talking about this team high level. They did not handle success well. And somebody told their defense that they were not allowed to tackle against the Jets this weekend. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they were doing. I don't know why this mentality kicked in with a team that was having so much success. But they better get it right this week, any given Sunday in this league. Jeff, what was your worst? Carson Wentz. Oh, I mean, boy. just. I mean, oh boy. I, did somebody just punch oh me in the gut? I hate, I hate I feel what like, happened to you because I mean, you're fun, full of energy. Brutal. Also, we show I mean, one Carson Wentz clip. Did you see it? And you are like near literally, tears. I just watched the division get ripped from my soul, bro. <laughs> like you can't. This is stupid. You cannot do that. Uh, I mean, look at those two interceptions. I just yeah, well, I, let me reset. Let I, me I, I don't. Right. I don't want to like, <laughs> feel like we're piling on, but but I, there, it did come up in our meeting this morning, and I want to ask. <laughs> Just really quickly, the players on our set. Marcus, I'll ask. Uh, start with you. Yeah. When a quarterback makes a mistake like that, I mean, he threw a left-handed jump ball from his own end zone in a tie oh. game in the fourth quarter. Like, what? Now you're on his – what do you say? What happens on the sideline, in the locker room? What? Marcus, take us there. Like, this is who this, is who this guy is. Like, hey, hey y'all know my saying. We got to believe people <laughs> when they tell us who they are. Carson yeah. Wentz is a guy that can play at a very high level – but we also know he's going to play at the lowest of low levels. I made a statement last year, and everybody went crazy. I got cussed out on Twitter, got called everything but a child of God. Carson <laughs> Wentz plays like Jameis Winston when he was in Tampa. Mm. That's who Carson Wentz plays like. Mm. He shows you the ability to be top five level QB, wow. and then in the same game, he'll switch it up. Now, Jameis went to New Orleans and fixed that. This is what we thought Carson Wentz was fixing in Indianapolis. Yeah. And it reared his ugly head again. And that doesn't mean he hadn't played well. He had some games where he played well. But this is who Carson Wentz is. It's time for us to start believing it, y'all. Yeah. Real quick, Nick. What, what, give me a give me a. Yeah, a I mean, I, I, well, you are a child of God, so I will tell you that just in case you didn't know. But <laughs> Thank you, sir. It is to me. It's something that we've all seen, and when that happens, they've already talked bad about Carson in the locker room. I promise you, in the DB room, they looked at each other like, "Here we go let again." Me, let me yeah. say and this, it's bro. uncomfortable. Q, Q Nelson, need to go. Hey, bro, do it again. I'll put hands on you. <laughs> Don't do it again. I'm not joking. Hey, man, we don't, do, we don't work this freaking hard for you to do that, bro. Like, you ain't got to be a hero. Depend on us. We'll carry it. I'm going to put hands on you. Do it again. That'll cure it up. That'll cure it up, folks. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.